everyone. Coach is here. If you have a question, raise your hand and I'll bring you into the room. Mark Berman. Uh, yeah, Tom, uh, just how bitter is, is this to be you guys after having the lead? Mark, I'm sorry, I can't hear you right now. Mark, you repeat that? Um, yeah, Tom, uh, how bitter is this defeat after having those big leads tonight? Well, it's disappointing. It's, you know, it, we had a lead, big lead in the first half and we didn't take care of it and we repeated it. And, uh, you know, we're disappointed because of the turnovers that we beat ourselves. That Fondy. Uh, what, just overall, what happened? I mean, you mentioned the turnovers, but you know, you guys kind of went cold in the fourth quarter. There, what what happened in your view um, to the offense in the fourth quarter? Uh, it's the turnovers. That's it. You put them in the open floor, you, and you're giving them easy baskets, and uh, you know they're they're having a tough time against your set defense. And then when you give a team easy buckets like that, they they can er erase leads very quickly. And this team is. Is, has always done that. So uh, they've got a lot of talented players, and yeah, if you're if you're beating yourself like that, you know it's you, you got to trust the pass. If they come down, they're going to gamble for steals, and all we have to do is spray it out. If we spray it out, we're going to get good shots. Hey, Popper. Tom, did some of that look like what you've talked about before with the you know the thirteen point lead midway through the fourth, um, not playing the full forty eight? Maybe the way you want. Yeah, you, you, look, the way teams shoot threes, you can't let your guard down at all. You know, and when you look at their roster, it's, you know, Edwards has really played very well the last 10 games. Towns is a load to deal with. He commands a lot of attention. And Beasley, Beasley's an elite shooter. You know, so, uh, and McDaniels got loose on us in the first half. So, you know, when that happens, it, you know, you're, you're playing with fire, but the, we did good things to build those leads, and then we didn't play tough enough with the lead. Mark Berman. I mean, is there something, you know, you're playing the, the league's worst team, and uh, maybe there was, you got a little too comfortable, the, the team? Well, it, it, the thing is, in this league, uh, every team has great players. You can't get here without being a great player. So if you let your guard down just a little bit, yeah, you're going to be in trouble. And uh, there's 30 teams, 29 are capable of beating you. And if you don't come with that edge, you don't come with the mentality that you have to play for 48 minutes, you get loose, uh, you're going to get knocked down. Jeff Bondi. Uh, so, uh, Tom, just on that last possession with RJ, um, he had Cat on him. Did you like that shot from RJ? Or would you like to try and get him to go to the basket? Yeah, well, you know, yeah, I want to see it on film again. But, uh, you know, it's it's what he thinks. It's, it's his read. It's an isolation type play. There's three options on the play. And that was one of them, so. Thank you, Coach. Yep. Steve Popper. Please. Uh, Tom talked about the turnovers, but what did you see down the stretch there as you guys saw the 13 point lead disappear? Steph Bondi? Uh, had I mean, just to uh, have the lead you guys had, how disappointing is it, especially when, you know, you're playing against the worst team in the NBA with the worst record? Is that just disappointing to leave without being able to hold on to that lead? Yeah, it is. The loss is always disappointing. Um, it's frustrating, um, especially at this point in the season. You know, we're fabulous. Um, it's frustrating. Um, it's overly now. We've got to recruit. Mark Berman. Hey, Julius. Uh, was there some message in the locker room after this one about uh, the loss and, and 
and what to learn from it? Thank you, Julius. In your opinion, with the offense, and why why did you guys struggle so much? Um, you know, I think they picked it up defensively there again, and steals and you know fast breaks. Uh, I think they just wanted it more uh, in the fourth. Steve Popper. RJ, I know you just mentioned about them wanting it more. Tom, Tom's talked a lot about that 48 minute having to have an edge. Do you feel like something like that happened with 13, up 13 with like eight to go that kind of thought this one was, I guess, in the bag a little? Uh, you know, every team's going to every team's gonna try to fight back. Um, you know, but we allowed them to come back in the game multiple times. And, um, you know, when you, get a, when you get a lead in this league, no lead safe, you got you to gotta close the game out. Mark Berman. Hey, RJ, I don't know if we're going to see anyone tomorrow on Zoom. With the Dallas Mavericks, you know, you were part of two victories against them. What, what do you see as the matchup with Przingis and Luca and all? It's another team. Um, they got some good guys. Uh, you know, we just coming off two losses. We just got to go, uh, go there, bounce back, go back home, bounce back and get get a win. Steph Bondi. Uh, RJ, just on that last possession, um, out of the timeout, you had Cat on you. Um, was that the shot you wanted? Um, I'm going to go look back at the play. Uh, I felt like it was the best shot available uh, at the time, but I'll go back and look at it. Thank you, RJ.